This video is sponsored by Wingwing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, we hope you're all doing wonderfully well and welcome back to the 19th of January 1991 in the Go 4 Strike Package Q, the really infamous, ill-fated, the last mass dumb bomb strike in history, at least for the USAF. So, the Package Q airstrike was the largest airstrike of Gulf War One and was the largest strike of F-16s in military history. Many aircraft, including the F-117 Nighthawk, were used to attack targets in Baghdad, which was the most heavily defended area of Iraq. The same target was hit several times by F-117s, and the last package consisted of 17 F-111Fs on the 19th day of the war. The main target of the strike was the Tuwaitha Nuclear Research Center near Baghdad. This is just taken from Wiki, by the way, which was the site of the Ozirak nuclear reactor that was attacked by the Iranian Air Force in 1980. I think we've done that one as well. And again by the Israeli Air Force in 1981. We've done that one as well, along with many other military sites across the city. Two aircraft were shot down in Strike Package Q, with two pilots becoming prisoners of war. The main goal was not met, with the reactors and the research facility only being slightly damaged, although many of the secondary targets were hit. The F-117 aircraft re-attacked the facility later, causing significant damage. The attack was the largest of the war and represented an attempt to strike Iraqi defences a serious blow. The raid illustrated how a number of small incidents or stresses, none by themselves necessarily serious, could contribute to an unsatisfactory outcome, which eventually convinced USAF commanders to call off further airstrikes against downtown Baghdad by conventional non-stealth aircraft. And also, this is famous for the F-16 pilot that successfully evaded six SA-6 launches, I think. If you go on the internet, F-16 dodges or evades six SAM launches, you'll see a really famous piece of footage with tens of millions of views. I'll link it in the video description as well. This guy dodges six SAM sites and comes out of it alive, as I remember. So that's today. So a lot of famous things happened on this day. Let's have a look at the uh, the mission and the component on the United States side. Involved were 56 F-16s. Imagine the logistics of getting that sorted. Six F-4 Phantoms, wild weasels. 14 F-15Cs, two EF-111s, uh, Ravens, these were EW, a total of 78 aircraft. The cartridges were two F-16s shot down, two pilots captured. On the Iraqi side, thousands of SAMs and AAA guns. 25 MiG-23s, 20 MiG-25s, 10 MiG-29s, 55 aircraft. Hundreds of military and civilian casualties, serious damage done to the air defences, critical oil refinery damage. I should say, this was requested. The request is there. 56 F-14 and assorted support planes. Unsatisfactory outcome. There's a link. Vid gets into the meat of it at 2 minutes and 30. That was the original request. Sorry, I've lost your name as I sometimes delete accidentally. It's a lovely clear day. Wind is minor. Uh, it's a good flying day. Objectives. 1. The SEAD chaps which is the 561st SEAD slash DIAD, obviously subduing the SA-3, SA-5 and SA-6. I should say we are basing this on reality, but like a Hollywood film would base on reality, you get the major components and then we spice things up and change things a bit to suit. And so if we've changed things as well. SA-3, SA-5, SA-6. The uh, combat air patrol guys, it's going to be the F-15s mainly uh, and F-16s. 338, the 53rd are to protect strike package Q. You will be facing MiG-23, MiG-25, MiG-29. Finally, strike. In this case, to simplify the mission, because we don't have 78 aircraft, destroy the Twyther Nuclear Research Center, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Three slides here. First, Iraq imagery. Super simple mission. It's a cap mission, so I've kept it lovely and simple. There's our base. We're all coming from one base and from one runway to keep it very GR and very simple. Baghdad, represented by... Uh, what's it called, guys? The capital of Syria. Mascus. Damascus, there we go. Uh, 170 nautical miles, about 190 miles. So bear that in mind for your fuel considerations. Also note there is a divert 70 miles away. If you can't make it home, there was a friendly base known as H4 on the particular map that we're using. Baghdad imagery. Just like in real life, it was absolutely peppered in SAMs and AAA. Much less than in real life because it would just be impossible with this amount of aircraft. What we've got scattered about Baghdad and the target, which I'm highlighting with my cursor here, are three times SA-5 gammon sites. 
integrated with three times SA3 sites. So if SA3s are protecting the SA5s, so bear that in mind, that's important if you're gonna go and attack those sites. Three times SA6 sites, mainly around the reactor area. 59 ZSU 23, 23 mil twin gun AAA sites. 21 S60 sites, 57 mil uh, long range AAA. Imagery shows some sites have between six and 24 missiles primed for launch per site. So do the maths, you've got um, hundreds of missiles to fight basically. The Iraqi Air Force at Airfield 1, which is in the center of Baghdad in this case, eight times MiG 29A is fully loaded and ready to scramble as soon as they know we're coming. Airfield 2, eight times MiG 25, Fox Bats, same thing. Finally, we have the Nuclear Research Center being attacked for the third time in history here. Super simple. It's a cat mission, it's a bunch of buildings being surrounded by loads of hardcore AAA. All we have to destroy, or should I say, you must destroy the reactor block. That's the big thing in the middle there, the tech combine it's called with the four chimneys. You must destroy that. And you must destroy all nine of the nine reactor fuel storage silos. Don't get distracted by the other buildings in there. Don't get distracted by the AAA necessarily. Don't get distracted by the, the, the cars and the vans and stuff. Fuel storage and reactor block, please. No cluster bombs. Uh, free fire for ROE and only period correct weapons. Now, I'm not saying you can't use missiles that weren't available on that aircraft, but you can't, for instance, use a JDAM, which wasn't designed yet. Did we have the uh, AMRAM in service already? Uh, no, we didn't, did we, guys? It wasn't here. It wasn't in, des it wasn't no. in Desert Storm. So, so does that mean we can't use it? or? You know what? I've literally uh, just suddenly thought. Uh, 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 Bees only? Uh, in the past, we've Take used these. Amram Bs, Take and then yeah. they just had to shoot it in STT. Do it, guys. Simulate. Yeah, yeah. I, I must admit, that I, seems I didn't more think reasonable. about that, but we've got no choice. The reason we're saying this valid views is we don't have sparrows for our model of the F-16 because they're too late for the sparrows. Take an, so yeah, take a Bravo model, use it as a sparrow. Copy. Let's go through the groups, guys, and then we're going to do some planning. Alpha, because I couldn't find the actual flight names of the real mission. Combat Air Patrol, the F-16Cs of the 388. Grump. Moist Towlet, who must be damp. Shrak, the Bravo cap as well, F-16s, 338. Signore, Penguin, Makabu. Charlie, F-16C, 401st, Strike. Cap, Skill, Jigsaw, Ali B, we are going to be destroying the uh, reactor and the, the doodars. Delta, empty. Echo, Siad slash Diad. F-16s playing F-4G Phantom Wild Weasels from the 561st. Harms. Foxtrot. Uh, the F-15Cs from the 53rd, at air Starscream, Shug, Centillion, Space Chef. Golf, F-14s, not playing anyone, completely fictional, but we need some help. Damp, Blood, Tanky, Stoat. Hotel, some AV-8s, again, playing the F-4Gs, uh, with their sidearms in this case, 561st. Tux or Bendy, Bean. Special, just guys that we wanted to shoehorn in so they can come and join in. The Saint with an Albatross. Imagine if he wins it when we're all dead. Not <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah, well. Tactics, guys. So it's pretty. It's a pretty simple camp mission. You've got a heffing great bunch of them, all in one place, just with lots and lots of them. With uh, it's not in. It's not an IADS, but they will have fighter cover inside their SAM cover. Now, the main thing that makes us harder than the usual, guys, is could anyone guess? SA five. Mm. SA five gammon. If anyone's been watching Cap's videos, which I'm sure they haven't for one minute, but if they have, it's a bit of a game changer because it makes things like harms useless because it means you can't go up high anymore. You go up above a thousand feet, apart from ferry, obviously, uh, you're dead. So yeah, I, I watched that. It's uh, you can go below eight hundred, right, and then you're it's, safe. It's one thousand AGL they've put the code at. Uh, one thousand AGL. But as you well know, you know. You're not very effective in there. Harms are only you've got 20 mm -hmm. mile range or, or something like that. Fighters will be shooting at you from 40,000 feet and you'll be stuck down there. It's going to be really hard. We're going to be squished down all the time. Um, how do we How do we fight back against that? I don't know. You know why? Because this is the first time we've ever done it. So I'm so looking I forward to finding out. Yep. The only option for the SA-5s would be to drain them. I guess so. Yep, just, so. just send the, um, just send the missiles right into the dirt from high altitude. They are easy to wait, notch. Wait, wait, do, they, do they target towels? Uh, Did we have towels? Mm, Should do. Yes, because they towels, I believe, represent aeroplanes. If you know what I'm saying, not missiles. Yeah. So, so oh, it's possible. I'll have one of my. I'll have one of my Tomcats he, carrying towels. He, like here's the problem, blood. The towel does the same flight profile ish as a harm. Now you can't 
It means he has to go 40,000 feet and launch it at 60 miles. You can't do that. It will shoot you from 160 miles at yeah, that Yeah, but the difference is you can shoot from the maximum range of the SA-5 and then it will start shooting at mm -hmm. the Tauds and you'll drain the SA-5. If you're going to do that, you'll probably be quite close to our base. So they could probably RTB and pick up some missiles. Whoa. I, I say we just chainsaw Tauds out and drain it all off. Right. Yeah. yeah. We can sit on the ground and watch you do it and see what happens. Remember, <laughs> here's the other thing. To keep things so you can't, we can't cheat, as ever, we've got 90 minutes. So it takes a long time to get a plane up to 40,000 feet. And I mean, by all means, let's try it. But I, mean, I think at least one round of them would do no harm. Yeah. With all the time we can scram up scramble up. the F-14s. We can all sit and watch. Uh, someone could be on spectators and actually see the missiles coming out and even maybe try and count them or something. That would be useful. Copy. That'll be the F-14's first mission. Is everybody has towels? We just launch up to forty thousand, get up to speed, yeah. launch our towels, okay. come back. Bombs. The rest of us can save maybe fuel on the ground. Yeah, and the seed F-16s could maybe go and and see if they can follow in. Mm -hmm. Well, you reckon sneaking down low? Yeah, remember that the SA-5 is an STT beast. Mm -hmm. So if you've got the SA-5 sights, uh, they're only going to engage three towels at one time. Alright, we just have to stagger them a bit, and that's no problem. Yeah, no need to yeah, oversaturate. It's yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. If the F-16s can follow the Tals in, they might maybe we may be able to get close enough to. Oh uh, yeah. Interesting. So how long is arms. how long is it going to take the uh, SF-5s to do 120 miles? Less than you'd like. Because they're over 3,000 yeah. knots. Remember, they go we clocked them at Mach seven or something like that. So it's Jeez. not that long. They're also not very maneuverable, right? You can notch them pretty easily. Ooh, just be careful. Yeah, you can, but they're not as bad as you might think. With, mm. I was watching your video. Yeah. yeah. They're launching yeah. from so far away, and you immediately start diving. Bear, bear in mind, to send them. Just bear in mind that we were doing that with you know uh, an empty jet of half fuel. With, with a way down F-16, everything's twice as hard. Mm -hmm. there, there is another trick, and I don't know whether it works work on the SA-5, is you turn off your ECM, wait for it to fire, turn it on again, and therefore it loses track, and mm -hmm. you just rinse and repeat until they're all gone. We haven't tried it. We, haven't, we didn't try jamming. It would just, be yeah, su it'll just suck, suck to take off and get shot down 160 miles. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just dump a bunch of towels in yeah. 60 seconds apart or something. It should uh, be the job. For my group, basically, I'm not taking any chances. I'm going in tornado style. I don't want to get shot by one of those things. Well, I ain't taking any Mark 84s then. Yeah, I'll take I'll take, um, I'll take you what you're good with, guys. Snake. Well, the thing is, we need to put big holes in our concrete bunker, yeah. which so we need something big. I'm talking. We need. Wait, uh, I'm taking 84s. Hey guys. I'm taking 84s. I'm gonna pop up at the last minute if we get through and just just to kamikaze a bunch of 84s in there. The other thing, Cap, is we can loft some uh, 84s. If we loft them from about six or seven miles, just pitch up to 20, 20 degrees, 25 mm -hmm. degrees nose up, hold the attitude, and then um, then commit. And, from, uh, a sorry, lock, from a teapot lock. From a lock. Well, no, if you've got a good mark, it'll take the bunker out. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, we've got a tiny bit of wind and stuff like that, though, guys. I was thinking about that, but that bit of wind, are you going to be uh, accurate you enough? Could do the, you could do the same trick, but have body lays GBUs. Who's going to buddy layers, though, in that mess? Maybe eight Bs? Yeah, down nice and low. There's only AAA around the target itself, so should be all right for... Cap, cap an, F an F-16 can lob a Mark 82 six miles with a bit of wind, mm -hmm. and as long as the target is a reasonable size, it should get it within 100 mm -hmm. feet. But a reactor block is, is a loftable target because that's massive. Exactly, so I think that's the best. And basically, so it's pitch up 20... 20 25 mm -hmm. degrees then for the recovery take the fucking burners out roll 135 degrees and pull like hell roger well i'm my group will go roughly together but i'm going to be dynamic and wait when i get there and see what the sam situation is like see if the sams are taken out by then sam radar's taken out we can just take our time Your other option is rockets i don't know if you can get to big chunky rockets i don't think we're going to get the power enough to kill a reactor block it takes about four mark 84s to kill the reactor block and one Mark 84 per uh, those drums. Are the SA-5s likely to reload? So No, we... no reloading today. Okay, cool. So it's not like we have to worry about waves or anything like no. that. Just, yep, awesome. It, it might be the case that if all the F-14s do today is continually dump towels mm -hmm. in there, drain literally everything, and you guys just fly overhead and it's dead easy. 
All right, someone stay on spectators just to make sure they're working. It'd be annoying to waste an hour and find out the towers weren't actually getting shot at. And then we'll take it from there. We should find out pretty quickly because the sky will be filled with smoke trails. Uh, fair point. And, oh. uh, and Cappy, are you intending to re-attack? No, we, we, I mean, I'd love to, but we, it's 170 miles. We can't, not in, not in 90 No, miles. no, no, I meant, I meant do more than one pass. Uh, if I'm, oh, I hadn't really thought about it, to be honest. Um, I don't know, is the answer. It really depends what the situation is going to be like when we get there. Remember, nobody did a second pass in this. Yeah. Also, I'm not expecting to survive this either way. So I'm not, I'm not expecting to live, because I know as soon as I get there, I'm going to be hounded by a bunch of fox bats. Well, that, that's why maybe we just uh, shoot our whole load on mm. one, uh, one pass on all one right. target. All right, that works then. I'm just going to probably put all of my bombs into the reactor block. Yep. Hope... Who wants to go for the fuel storage? Maybe we've got four of us. How about me and another reactor block? Uh, me and skill reactor block, jigsaw and alley fuel reactor storage. All the other way around, I'm easy. Yeah, yep, happy. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that spreads our bombs on target. Must have fixed that. Any other? I'm so my guys. We're just going to hold until the F-14s have done a couple of rounds. Uh, any other questions or thoughts, guys? Welcome back, valid viewers. I don't know if you're listening to the briefing, but or the tactics. But what we've decided is we're going to send the F-14s up with Tauds to convey about Tauds into. Why has my F-16 got haunches on the side? Oh well. Uh, to send Tauds in to drain the SA-5 gammons. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. Remember, guys, no aim line Xs, no aim line Xs. Tomcat Tauds are off. Good luck, Tomcats. Burner to get airborne, and then as soon as you're airborne, and about 220 knots, pull it out. Okay, we'll try that. Just give me a bit of space. Yeah, it'll, it'll get airborne and drive power on this one. Way. Yeah, so I'm well. Drive time, no power. Rotate to 50 for 270 knots. Yeah. Clock is ticking, uh, Tomcats. We've got 90 minutes to do this mission, Valley Views. We're sending the Tomcats up ahead with the towels. Good luck, sir. Look at Strike Package Q Valley viewers. Beautiful, beautiful Strike Package Q. There's the other Tommies. Com check. Are Tomcats on 127? Copy on 127. I'm just listening in. I'm just uh, coming in waiting to get to uh, defueled and uh, rearmed. Fox, you only got 10,000, 40,000, and I'm gonna engage first. Then blood, you're next. We go down the line from there. Well, I recommend just keep proceeding until you get launched on, then drop them. Because it's about from 35,000, you get that 60 nautical miles range out. The towers should be sufficient. Another good tactic is you go into a 15 degree climb and just drop them every few seconds. That puts enough spacing so they don't all get shot down in one go. Look at that Tomcat go. Amazing. That's a fast gal. So 
where they're trying to get the SA-5 gammons to shoot from 160 nautical miles. That's what they're trying to do. Will it work? I don't know. Okay, boys, you are now 160 nautical miles from the target. They should be lighting you up soon. Any sign of a spike yet, boys? Absolutely nothing for me. So far, no spike for me. I have 40,000. Right on the launch in now. The SA-5 just needs the radars and the That's missiles. The cap is gonna it doesn't need a P-19, does right it? at the back of the runway. Uh, just on alert, so uh, other flights just go past us. He's got two radars, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, when I did the test, I just put four launches in those two radars, and it seems to do the trick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got that, so let's see what happens. Roger, F-16, Captain F-15, we are... Uh, gonna go find a parking space over here. Once you take off, we'll then taxi and take off after you. We got more fuel. Roger, sounds good. You are now at 140 nautical miles. 140 nautical miles. Come on, fire at him, fire at him. He's going at 40,000 feet, 132 miles away. Three's at 12,167 miles away. Nothing yet. Or is me slightly. Hundred, one twenty. Good luck, see you guys, F4 Phantoms, whatever you are. Thank you, Cub. Heads up, 1F16, taking off, you have no ordnance on you. Ha ha ha, who's that idiot? That would be the one who's going into burner now, you have nothing. Obi, you got no weapons! Bloody pillow. Well, Obi's glory doesn't need no weapons. I guess so. I'll oh, the video of the guy dodging six sand. Lol. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. So initial game plan, if these guys deviate any, we're gonna uh, head for a 220, which we're heading now, looks like. Uh, we'll establish Angels 30. And uh, move from there. Crazy. Ali, what version of the AGM 88 would old F4 Phantoms have carried? The Charlie model? Well, I think they did then, yeah, but I, I, I mean, you know, I'm not absolutely positive. But were they on strike? Uh, I think that was the one half of the Charlie model. Yeah, I think they're on strike. But they only carried two, and they had no fuel. Wow, what a terrible thing. I think we had to refuel about twice. I mean, you, know, you know the F11, uh, 117, they did 18 hour sorties and three, three brackets for the tanker. Wow, hardcore man. Just about to approach the danger zone at uh, 88 miles at the moment. Just to get those things off. Yep, miss our launch. I'll start dropping them now.
Charlie missile launch is coming for you. Run, Tomcat, run, 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 run. There's not enough air up here. Just don't get in a spin. I'm working on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get away from that missile. Get away from that the missile. Uh, I'm at 19, I'm going to start dropping mine. I have no clue where I'm heading towards or away from it, but well. Get out of that tanky. Missile's coming at your face. Well, that's some cool tomcatting. Oh, what base is that? Well done, boys. You've all survived. Come back to base and get some more towels. That's some hors d'oeuvres. I'm gonna uh, flip back and uh, drop off my other three. Yeah, I think we were a little bit too close when we launched them, so just give it a bit of a give it a few minutes and then uh, go in with the other three. You're Roger, wait until you've broken the the spike. Area Siege Group, when do you think you guys are going out? We're uh, just taking off uh, shortly. We're in case we just like queuing. SA5s are firing at the towels, I'm watching it happen. Oh! SA5 hit towel. It's beautiful, guys, we're burning the SA5s away. Get some of your big stupid fat missile. Oh, I'm gonna turn it back in. That's a dangerous missile, that is. That's a big, dangerous missile. Where's it gone? Pally, I see it, I see it, you see that? You see that? There's two of them. Here they come. Big 30 foot missile. Boom! That's another SA5 gone. I've seen three go down already. Good luck, Harriers. I'm going to drop, uh, drop the rest of the line, uh, starting at 100, uh, with 10 seconds in between them. Yeah, as soon as you do it in a climb as well, it adds extra space between the towers. Two more SA5s up. Come on, you big fat missile. Come shoot us down. Ah, nice. Fourth SC5 down. The SAM operators must think these Americans are uh, seriously suicidal, slowly gliding into SA5s. <laughs> 300 knots. All right, grab the fly there, grab the fly there, picking up. Let's see if the runway. Six SAM out. Okay, guys, the hostile MiGs have started uh, taking off. What do you want to do, bud? Do you want to get cap in or, or wait? I don't know, it's going to be really. Uh, you think the SA5s are down? Or just we have plenty of fuel. We can uh, orbit if need be. We're taking off. Okay, good luck. Or is he fives wasting? Come on, suck it, yeah! And another please, and another. Big, fat, expensive missile. Boom. That's probably about half the SE5s done already, guys.
Okay, Charlie guys, I think it's time to go. Are you guys all ready? In fact, let's rearm real quick. Come here, rearm. Yeah, four's just done it. Four's ready. F-15s are out. Likewise, two's ready. Good luck, F-15s. Take your time, mate. I can't even tell if this guy's got his engine on or not. Is that max power? He uses max power to idle. For you, not an engine. You're going to have to go faster than that. I've got a lot of bombs. Thank you. He made it. Bless his cotton socks. Come on, heavy F-16 with all the bombs on. Just. Big, fat, heavy F-16. Okay, boys, heading two, one, zero. Get comfortable. Check your HST for stroke package Q in all its glory. One hundred and seventy nautical miles to go. Speak up. Increasing up to around 400 uh, mil power. Tally hostile fox bats on HSD miles away. Shoot them down, boys. Shoot them in the head. The size of those threat rings on the uh, HSD. Yep. Stupid. Oh, so Tomcat returning home. Two saddle, right one. Uh, three eighty and decelerating slightly. Down to five degree pitch. Three seconds. Boys, what's up? Confirm lead doesn't have his burner on. Yep, Roger, you look at the Falcon group, this is Eagle group. How do you want to approach the interceptor door? The 16's in the front, which is me, Penguin, and Max, so we're trying to get there as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, we're heading off to the right slightly. Getting us hands off on 5A. Looks like there's missiles out. 30 miles. Magnum. Get those magnums and out here. Like two ship of F-16s will follow in behind, ignore it, and uh, PD push through. 
Roger, we can make a bit of a chainsaw since we're elongated here and we have depth. We'll just go cold back to you once we need to go defensive. Yeah, uh, Abram, just announce when you're cold, we'll stay hot and we'll announce when we go cold. Okay, cool, and then the 15s I think are in the back. Leveling off to get our energy back up, guys. Roger, yeah, we are in the wave. At least eight hostiles airborne now. If there's any groups, because you guys have data leak, we don't tell us where we, which ones you want us to hit, we'll go there. Roger, will do. Um, let me just get some SA first. I'll let you know. Got guys operating at Angels 32 near the SA6s, so I think the SA5s must be down or depleted. Okay, 316s in the front are taking the leftmost group of bandits. They're now 80 miles up from us. Alpha flights tracking the uh, other two flights. We'll take the secondary targets, and we can have the 15s take the third. Rod. Tomcats, what's the state of play on the SC-5 Gammons? Are they finished? Yeah, this is uh, F-16 seed flight. The SA-5s, we've taken at least two of them out. Um, and an SA-6. The SA-5s didn't provide much of a fight. Well done. This is the F-14s. Um, do you need more touts to finish off the remaining remaining SAMs, or do you think it'll be okay with what you've got? Uh, I think it'll be alright, to be honest. There wasn't much threat. The, the, the sixes and the threes they need to watch for now, I'd say. Okay, because I'm debating whether it's worth coming back with some massive GPUs, and if there's a friendly Harrier, I can just lay for it. Do it, blood, do it. I think the gammons are all gone. Yeah, the last gammon, I think, just went. Well played guys, phase one complete. Phase two starts now. Learning of the day is it works a lot better when you take weapons. Heads up, uh, nailed five o'clock. 400 feet. The socks coming in just now. 300 feet. 200 feet. 100 feet. Nerd, nerd. Front flight of 16s is starting our dive. We're about 45 miles out from the first set of bandits. Good luck. Alpha, just a heads up, it looks like they took the bait, they're heading towards us. Yes they are.
Aha. Two, I've got a five and a T there, so they can up on the RW ladder. Two, I've got. Yeah, I'm number four's got the most fuel. Oh yeah, we're better than me. Okay, there's a fur ball at the front. Alpha flight's about 35 miles out from that original target. Come on, shoot them down, shoot them all down. Flight's right in front of us, so we're gonna have to be careful on our shots. Maintain STT. Fox 3 lead, Bandit, Angel 38. Got Shoot, 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 All right, boys, boom. we'll bring him to you. Okay, the fighting is now 60 miles away, guys. Almost certainly we're going to have air-to-air -air unless the boys kill him. Get up in the air so we're not blocking the rest of the road for the other guys. Ten seconds each. Give him McLovin. Target's uh, just off our nose, continuing towards us at the cons. Uh, just above the one that's All right, right uh, Hostile aircraft, 50 miles. All right, uh, first set of 16s is overlapping with friendly. Alpha 1, splash 1. Alpha 1's turning cold. Alpha 1, splash. 
flash one and turning hot. Roger, first group's turning hot again. There's loads coming in, Grump, get ready. We're gonna be doing air to air, but the looks of things, guys, there's loads coming in. Run, man, run. 15 miles, Fox 3. Sugar. It's like a red steamroller. Hostiles on radar, 40 miles. We've only got four oh, cap left. You've launched it at 16, F 15, you've launched it at Viper. Oh, dearie me. Okay, good news is the reserves have stayed back in Baghdad. We just gotta kill these four and then the reserves have stayed in Baghdad. Break formation. Friendly at Angel 30, we're dragging them right to you. Check out to the left. Alpha flight turning back hot. Excellent. Also locked, 40 miles. Double check your IFF. 35 miles. Be real careful about putting Fox 3s in there, guys, because there's friends close in. Make sure you get a nice, clean shot. Come on, you son of a bitch. Anyone, anyone see that guy, Angel Z? Sorry, sorry. He's down, he's down. Cap units, I think that's the uh, first wave dealt with. The first wave dealt with, well done. Okay, guys, we're regrouping and we're going in for bombing again. Alpha play, uh, copy. That uh, looks like that's what we're seeing on our scope, too. Roger, we're passing you yeah, in about five minutes with the ground attackers. Falcon Flight, this is Eagle Flight. We have uh, MiG-25 bearing 200 going to engage over. Okay, guys, I'm back on a 203 okay, heading. Copies. Angels 25. Bravo Flight is also engaging. This will be our last engagement, and we are uh, bingo. That was jolly exciting, wasn't it? Camp on Twenty-four. Twenty-five thousand. The second wave looks eight, like eight. Six. Looks like eight Alpha hostiles. Alpha lead, uh, mud six, uh, bearing one nine four. Need copy, copy tank. Five. I have the lead, Mic twenty-five over. Your shooter, fire one red. Four against eight. Come on, boys. You're closer. Do that team. Okay, three MIGs. Four yeah, MIGs. Sam's out from the base. Four MIGs sitting right on top of where we need to bomb. That ain't good. Spike by SA6 spike. It yeah, heads up, Cap. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, area is still hot for uh, all Cap flights. Steer clear of the SA6. Well, yeah, we'll make sure we don't go into the SAM site. There's at least four sitting over the nuclear power site. 
So uh, the F-14s are going with two TAUs, two GBUs, so we'll be there in probably 20 minutes or something to uh, deal with those sounds. Will you have any air-to-air -air weapons? Negative. Okay. Waggle slash F-25. Waggling. Just use data link. Everything you can do with data link on there. Stroke think. three defending. Yeah, that's good. Just bear in mind you're fighting within the SA3 site, guys. Copy, thank you. They're already coming for you. They're coming for you, so. Alpha's turn cold. Okay, we can't go much further, guys. We're going to orbit uh, pretty much here until the cap does its job. Cap left orbit. Alpha lights turning back in hot. Alpha 2, I've got visual and you know, you're just stop my nozzle. Follow with him. Some brave son of a bitch right in the middle of all those SAMs. Would not want to be him. Got more missiles out from the base. Oh, Tally. You can see those missiles right out of my window. Delays on target at 25 miles. Sherry Fox 3. Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him right in the face. Hit him in the face. I'm uh, gone for the information. LAP's got a pod and I've got the target eliminated at 1688. Just tell me if you want to lose. Alpha Flight's turning back home. Wish I'd brought LGB now, I could have tossed Enemy it. Enemy Flight's still in SAM range. Uh, yeah, we'll need that, but we're still 140 miles out, so uh, wait a moment. Your skates on them, blood. Yeah, we're still, we're just still orbiting uh, 20 miles from the target. We're not going in yet. Roger, well, you know we're a bit closer. Still plenty of baddies in there. There's still plenty of reds in there, guys. Reducing. Alpha's turning back hot. Bravo flight is RTB, Winchester bingo.
Unknown on the other, over. Roger, just heads up, still seeing a lot of missiles coming out from the lower areas. Uh, Alpha 1 has uh, approximately 45 minutes of playtime time left. Someone's right in there. Did you just light up on my left wing? I'll smell it up in here for ages. Good. Hey boys, see you again. There's some brave son of a bitch right in the middle of the SAM sites dogfighting them. Brave or stupid? Probably the latter. Depends on the outcome, I suppose. Come on, brave man. Shoot those suckers down. Two of them up on your left wing this time. The anticipation is killing me. Tomcat, distance out. Uh, about 110 nautical miles down. That's literally a million. Flight's gonna attempt to drag the enemy flights uh, out towards the northwest. Z flights, what's your status? We still have a lot of uh, SA 3s and SA 6s active. Uh, c flight is currently uh, RTB, rearming and refueling. Alpha copies. Trump, how many fighters left in their baddies? Uh, last radar sweep had about three or four. Nice. Our status is two or down. I'm RTB and spaceship is still in the AO, but trying to also RTB over. Eagle flight, uh, Alpha flight copies. Uh, right now, Alpha flight is Singleton F-16, uh, maintaining cap in the AO. Playtime is about 30 minutes now. We've got a friendly fighter right on top of the nuclear power plant. All flights update from uh, Alpha flight. Looks like the skies are clean. We still have uh, active SA-3, SA-6 in the area. Thank you, Grump. Okay, boys, we're committing. We're committing. Let's go. Follow me. Stroke 3 defending. Nice. Uh, yeah. Target visualized. Somebody's already dropped something on the, um, the storage. Yep, someone's already been in. Good. For some reason, my INS system's way out, or maybe it's above it. Yeah, it's above it, isn't it? 
scan the ground with your radar, guys. There might still be MIGs. Okay, going air to ground. Check south to the right hand tanks. Ah, stop it. Colour will drop back on your left to take your struggle for the reactor. It does make sense to just wait at the cap and to skill the gun in case they are not hitting. Great idea guys. Yep, I'm going in now. I'll test the water. That is a SAM site. So Ellie, you go for the right ones, I go for the left ones. I can't, I just FYI, I'm going literally 50 feet on the deck. It's the only way in. Well, we've got two of fire directly ahead of us. I'm going to hit the deck as well. Yeah, what about that? It's those S60s, they can fire like miles away. Cat pop up. Only the drums now, only the drums now. F-16 seat flight is rearmed, but at base, but there doesn't seem to be any point coming back out. Uh, we should be over before we get there. Agreed. Please take out the reactor crystal. Reactor destroyed, reactor destroyed. Fuck off. Fuck off. Lots of AAA though. I'm running there with guns on the drums. God, that AAA though. Uh, this is the Tomcat flight. Uh, we're approaching a box. Looks like it's hard to the target. We're going to drop our tower before the... He's going uh, down! He's going down! Avenge me! ...the drain, and then we'll be right into the... Should we try to destroy the guns? I'm out. Lead ejected. Some are safe. I'm going to spend some serious quality time in a jail cell. Kill that site. I killed four before I died, I killed four before I died, but I think there might be two left. Do a BDA. After you went four but I got four, the remaining two that I could see were gun run, but I can't see anymore. Evade, evade, evade. They're all dead, they're all dead. All units cap, all units cap, all targets destroyed, all RTB immediately. Flawless victory, boys. Bouncing off the target. It'll ten thousand dollars. Two thousand. Yeah. First hit four point four. But these massive GB twenty four are one of the years, but no. Oh, it was forty eight RTB. Just too efficient for you, blood. I'm planning. Awesome. 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 I'm Grump. Nice to meet you. Cindy Comcheck. Cindy can't reach the phone right now. Please leave a message after the tone. You seen where he is? Negative. He's just parked his Harriet in Baghdad. Looks like he'll be joining me in the sales. He's got a timeshare there. So ignore it. Confirm you are out of gas. Yep, I'm out of gas. I'm probably almost out of hydrazine too. Uh, I'm on final right now. Okay, just don't screw it up. Roger. Scout, you check. Minus 2.4. Penguin Grump, don't be alarmed. I'm just saddled off the right side. Point three. Seven five seven seven five six. I got a rat. Don't stack it. Don't stack it. And it does stick very easily. Tornado doesn't. This is Eagle Lead. I am right behind you. Final approach. 
Pump those brakes, you chicken leg squawker. Don't hit that man, don't hit that man. Woo. Start screen, caution, runway occupied. By a big aeroplane. One of them's got the wrong one way, which one? The two people in front of me are landing on the opposite runway to the one we took off from, so... That's weird. Recommend they go around... <laughs> Why is it so fucking hard to land an aeroplane on the right way around? It's like dealing with five-year-old shaven apes. Uh, stay on the left side, they'll uh, shut down 16, the uh, right side of the runway. Copy, sir. Eyes on route. And finally, you took a big information. Special pilot. Still just as us now when you turn off your autopilot. Uh oh, pilot.
buttered it. Welcome back, Lost Phantoms. Uh, taxi and then report to debris. Welcome back, guys. We did it. I literally thought there was pretty much a 5% chance of us doing that because that's a lot of SAMs and it's the first time we've gone up against the SC5. We put our little brains together. And we did it, amazingly. And shooting down those those 16 MiGs with long-range weapons in their own backyard with SAM cover was really impressive by the air-to-air -air guys. So everyone just did really well, apart from the landing at the end. But otherwise, that was really perfect. Right, so anyone want to summarise before we go group by group? Just group by group. Start with um, um, whoever the first group is. Send, Plix. Well, since we were going off of just Alpha Bravo Charlie that make Alpha Flight, the two ship F 16s, we stuck around with Signoris Flight and uh, waited on the runway until we got word that the enemy uh, QRF was launching. At that point, we all scrambled, head immediately towards the target area. Uh, we coordinated amongst each other uh, along with the F 15 group to set up a uh, three, air, uh, three flight chainsaw maneuver. I think it worked out very well. Yeah. Um, we had Signora go in first, uh, first shooter. They turned cold. We went in hot, uh, launched uh, our volley, went cold, had the 15s come in and do their volley. Um, I know, f at least from my flight, I uh, was able to get one uh, Fox 1 M120B on target, shot down, uh, I think it was a MiG-29 or MiG-25, which one of the two. Um, lost Shrek in that engagement. I'll have him talk. I don't know if he was able to kill anything before he got shot down but other than that maintained cap and uh let the other flights do their thing as well and maintained air superiority after that we uh, rtp'd and made it home with a uh, one loss on our flight shrek do you have anything to add yeah no i i shot my shot right after you did and i exchanged kills i did get uh, mig 25 excellent so that's uh two kills from alpha flight wicked well done guys uh next group all right, that would be Bravo, uh, Cap Flight. We were the front prong of the the cap. Uh, we burned in at high altitude for efficiency and speed. Um, and like uh, Grump said, he basically covered it all. We established a, uh, a chainsaw with his flight and the F-15 flight. Um, we, our flight, Bravo, uh, how many kills did you get, Penguin? Well, I got two in the end. Two, and then Macaboo? Uh, two, I think. Okay, so we got nine kills from wow. Bravo Flight. Unbelievable. Um, I believe, uh, if they got two each. Uh, so we got nine kills, Bravo Flight, and I actually ran out of fuel. Well, I had 900 pounds and made it back. I think it was about 160 miles on 900 pounds, and I glided it in. So that, that uh, turned out okay, um, but it was... Uh, it was quite nerve-wracking, to say the least. Uh, but that, that's it for Bravo. Well, Joe, well done, guys. I see you in there supporting the AV-8Bs and, and ACMing all those MiGs down under Samfire. Really good work. Amazing. Thank you. Um, next group. You. That's you. Oh, that's right. You, oh, well, of course it is. Right. Um, we, this mission was all about timing. The groups had to take off and loiter at the right time for everything, for all the cogs to work. And everyone did perfect timing, which is incredibly unusual for us. So we took off, we transited 170 miles, and rather than being five-year-olds, we waited outside of Baghdad until you super guys went in and shot all the MiGs down. When you were happy with the MiGs down, we went in, we bombed the base. Simple as that, nothing special. Mark 84s, I got shot down, uh, because it was actually pretty heavy uh, AAA cover, but the boys did great. All, the whole nuclear site destroyed uh, pretty easily. RTB, boys did really well, lovely uh, landing. Next group. Okay, that's uh, Echo, I think, the seed flight. Um, we had a little, well, I say we, I had a bit of a false start because mm. one, my rudder pedals failed me, so mm. I found out. It, was the, right it was the pedals' fault, guys. It was the pedals' fault. Yes, it was the pedals. <laughs> so I'm blaming the pedals on the, the next problem, mm. oh. which resulted in my respawn and haste to take off. Um, obviously, just on a test flight mm. to test the pedals were working correctly. Uh, I went up unarmed, um, so then I had to respawn again. But um, 
Gary and Artie pressed on and uh, I caught up with them eventually. And then we engaged, uh, I think we killed two SA-5 radars and a couple of SA-6s. Um, and then we RTB'd uh, and uh, that was it. Good work, guys. Yeah, that was great. Uh, Samming. Yeah. We went. We went in after the towels, which and and nothing launched on us on the way in. So so it, it was ideal. We just flew in, mm. engaged the radars with harms, and then flew back out again. Yeah, without those towels, I don't think we could have done this. Next group. That would be the F-15s. Uh, just like we said before, the, we followed the F-16s and some of the idea that we had more loiter time than they do as far as fuel is concerned. Um, I think Centillion shot down a MiG-29 right off the bat in the first wave. And then we lost him and Space Chef to Sam's. Oh, I'm sorry, him and Shrugs to Sam's. Space Chef got a kill and I got a kill. And uh, the two of us that were left returned. What and somebody was in the way on the runway. I don't remember who that was. Uh, you. <laughs> he was on the right side. You were the only guy apart from the emergency to land on the wrong side. Uh, I was <laughs> I was following the F-16s in that were on that emergency landing. <laughs> you were also landing on the mm. wrong run runway. Excellent. I was just following their lead. We'll cut that out, shall we? Not. Um, <laughs> next, group send. Group G. That's the F-14 Tomcats. Hello, Damp. Oh, okay. Hello, Damp. So, okay. uh, we launched first with uh, Talds under tow. Uh, got up to got up to speed. Got up to uh, altitude. Pushed into the enemy SAM net. Uh, we had uh, Spike on us for the vast majority of our flight in. Uh, dropped our first Talds at about eighty miles out. Um, I I dropped two, then broke off to the right. Dropped two more closer to the targets. Uh, we took a lot of the uh, what we took a lot of the Sams out of the picture because of the towels from Good. what I saw. Good. Yeah, we somehow convinced the uh, the Iraqis that there was a army of suicidal Americans <laughs> slowly gliding towards them. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that works for us guys. They that, took the bait. They took, took all of the SA fives out pretty much. I'm oh, with that. They took the bait hardcore. Um, well, uh, um, next group. I think that's the Harriers in hotel. Um, best Harrier mission ever for me. Um, uh, basically, yeah, we took off a little bit after the cap flight. Um, went up to altitude about 20,000 to conserve fuel. Uh, started getting splashed by 29, so we put a little orbit in, which brought us back closer to you guys in strike, but I think it was probably the right thing to do. Uh, then we split up. Toxel was going to do some lazing. Uh, myself and Bendy, we dropped down to Nap of the Earth. I uh, went in on an S6, um, saw some fighters, uh, wasn't sure what they were, had a quick sneaky check on F10 to make sure they weren't blue. Um, fired off a Sidewinder, splashed a MiG-25, um, so oh. yeah, and then proceeded in on an S6. Um, couldn't get my mouse to work because I'm crap at Harrier, so I just gunned the radar, knocked out the S6, <laughs> just as I you guys that. arrived. I saw that. <laughs> I, thought, who, I thought that must be the seed guys. And I, I, I have to admit, it wouldn't be a, a flight with me, Cap, if I mm. came back with all my control services attached. Agreed. So, yeah, I'm, I might have possibly lost an elevator. Of course. <laughs> of course. Excellent. But, uh, yeah, I made it back with, with fuel to spare, which uh, was great. And thanks to Tuxor who, uh, and Bendy who taught me, talked me through the area. For learning on the job, boys. True GR. Well done. Uh, who else? Who have I missed? Uh, just the same. special flight. Send special flight. Um, mm. uh, due to the airframe I chose, mm. by the time the mission was complete, I was still 48 kilometers away from the target. Oh, so, close. so it was a little bit quiet. You do max out about <laughs> five, uh, 300 miles an hour. It's a valued contribution. Valued. There you go. It inspired us to do better. Um, it's right. Great taking part. Uh, really good, guys. One of those missions that really worked and everyone did really well. Anything to add? Just a great mission. It was really fun. Yeah. Well done, yeah, guys. Enjoyable. A semi footage damp and uh, grump, and I will see you guys uh, on Wednesday or something. See ya. Yeah. See ya.